Can we carry on this momentum through Q2? I'd be sceptical about continuing the stronger uh, uh, momentum that we saw in the first quarter just because it very rarely happens you get two such strong quarters in a row. And I think what we'd be seeing is probably investors over the next three months looking for any slight excuse uh, to uh, take profits. And so I'd, I'd be sceptical about such a strong rally. But on the other hand, as you've just said, we are looking at substantial changes, long-term changes in the way central banks have been running themselves over the last couple of decades. Two cardinal principles are up for grabs. The first is independence from the government. Well, Japan has, uh, has uh, shown that that can be challenged. Mm. And a priority on bearing down on inflation, which is, is one of or the core tenants of most central banks. Cyprus clearly still front and centre. Uh, in all of this. Are, are we, though, moving to an end game or, or do you see a spillover still? Well, my fear is that what had been considered the end game, setting up a banking union uh, as the first step towards uh, fiscal and economic union, that that might prove to be a cul-de-sac, as it were, because uh, there were three elements to that. There was common regulation, common supervision and a common mutualization, a, a bailout system whereby the, uh, the, the northern Europeans would be willing to bail out a southern European bank to save that southern European bank's government having to go to the bond market and then introduce austerity. And, uh, and so you didn't have that vicious cycle kicking in. The Germans were pretty much against that from day one. What we've seen over the Cyprus issue is that idea that you do not have a common mutualization of a bad bank's problems throughout the Eurozone. That idea has been cemented. What sectors do you like right now? Well, it would continue to be probably your high-yielding defensive areas uh, that produce a good dividend. Because in this so-called great, great rotation that we've seen so far, as investors move out of low-yielding government bonds and into equities, we have seen them move into your more defensive equities, which is really demonstration that the first quarter was not so much risk on. Otherwise, you would have seen more cyclically sensitive areas outperform. But it was, uh, it was an aversion from bonds rather than enthusiasm for risk. And so people have gone to healthcare, consumer stocks. Mm. And I dare say that trend will persist. All right.